check it out folks this is what you get when you have a big fish on this is a bruiser Tim's having to go out and work him away from the cover so he can get him in oh. you're watching the number one adventure show hooked on Utah powered by Ford Welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today we've got a fun adventure. We're on the Strawberry River. Now we're doing it with Mark and Four Seasons. We've also got Jason with Fall River Fly Rods. And this is all about bamboo and top water. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's adventure. Down here on the strawberry, just about to head into our one of our first spots to fish, and then we'll see if we got any rising fish in there. So we rolled up here and we spotted this little what looks like a brook trout, and uh, he's just feeding on some very very small midges. We're just walking down the stream, haven't even started, so I'm making Mark shoot a line out of, out here with his bamboo rod, seeing if he's got the zen rolling with him today. And. Fish on, big oh, oh. oh! How awesome is that? Very first take, fish took it, bang! And uh, I couldn't have done without the accuracy of this rod. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's the cool thing about these bamboo rods is their accuracy. Shooting, that was a beautiful cast. Yeah. He just went right down the yeah. bottom of that hole. Yeah. He may be done feeding for a while. Yeah, I uh, sorry I didn't close the deal, but man, that was cool. <laughs> that is awesome. So all right, we just got a spot and cast to them. We're doing something kind of fun today. And uh, you know, we're down here with Jason's rods. He has got some of the coolest bamboo custom rods you've ever seen. Each one of us has a rod, a little different setup, and we're fishing this beautiful stream. See if we can't catch some trout and introduce you to the beauty and power of bamboo. All right, we're up here. Uh, just spotted two fish right there. We're gonna have Jason Cast up to him, see if we can get him to eat. As I've been watching you and Mark and Tim cast, it's just effortless. Just very little motion, very little energy used, and some casts very, very long. Mm -hmm. It gives us several advantages because we've got, we can shoot a, a uh, heavier weight line, which will allow us to cut wind better, which is real plus out here in the West. Fish on, there we go, fish on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Good brown, huh? Big old brown. Wind kind of picked up on us, so we went away from our dries and started doing a little nymphing here. And uh, we got a quality brown on. Beautiful, look at the way that bamboo rod just absorbs all that energy, flexes, casts beautifully, absolutely handles that, that brown trout. That's what you love about these bamboo rods. Flex all the way. All yeah, the way. great flex. Tacos right up. Big beautiful fish. Take a look at that. That is a gorgeous brown. Look at those beautiful colors. Look how thick. Broad shoulders, took it right in the corner of the mouth. That's a beautiful fish. That's awesome. Fish on, baby, and he's big, he's big. Big fish. 
Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter, located throughout Utah. Mountain America Credit Union, supporting your home, your business, your life. The Ready Project, live life ready at home and in the outdoors. Goal Zero, renewable energy solutions anywhere. Academy Mortgage, the number one independent purchase lender. Big O Tires, the team you trust on and off our western roads. Get the dream car and the dream rate. Right now at Mountain America, auto loan rates are as low as 2.74 APR for both new and used vehicles. Apply for your auto loan today at the nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after. Whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out on the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Have you ever had a dead cell phone? Yes, I have. And does it suck? It sucks a lot. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. It's an HTC Desire. Mine's an Android. A Droid X. What we got here is a solar panel. Charge your phone as fast as a wall. Charging? What? Charging. <laughs> You're charging, man. Pretty quick, huh? Sweet. Wow. See that? Is this life changing? It is life changing. Yes. From dawn to dusk, this is truck country, and it all starts here. Get great rebates and discounts on our new Fords, up to 14,000 off select new trucks, and up to 8,500 on select new cars. Hi, come see me, Big Bill Snape, at Kendrick Ford and American Ford. So we were on the Strawberry River earlier today, one of the most scenic places I've been ever, beautiful. For some reason, fish weren't just moving up and hitting the dry, so we transitioned, hopped rivers, and we're gonna chase some bigger fish, so sit back, enjoy, see if we can't get some fish for you. I'm here with Jason and Julie Zika. Now you guys have a phenomenal company. You do something very unique when we're talking about fly fishing. It's bamboo fly rods. So we start with an actual bamboo comb that is about this diameter, about two and a half inches across. Comes to us 12 feet long and we'll cut that up and we'll start cutting it down into strips that are about uh, three eighths of an inch. These blades have been sharpened to a mirror finish, and even so, one blade generally only lasts one or two strips. When we decide what rod we're gonna build, they get bundled together in the relationship that they're gonna actually be finished, and then they go into an oven for about an hour. And then we go into basically what's normal rod building process, where we start applying our guides, thread wraps, and then the difference between this and your standard graphite rod is that it has a finish that is over 100% of the rod. Yeah, we can do custom woods, custom profiles on grips. Uh, we use all nickel silver hardware in our reel seats, ferrules, and then if you notice our stripping guide is a natural agate that's been drilled and polished and set in a nickel silver setting. So if you've got a rod, sentimental, collector's item, or you had one you bought and it's been broken, get it up here, give them a call there's a good chance they can restore your rod back to uh, as good as new. We're gonna head out on the water and we're gonna give these bad boys a go. There we go, oh! So we're fishing PMDs, and uh, I'm told it's a pale morning done for those of you that don't know, and uh, that's what these guys really like right now, the PMD, that's all they've been talking about, PMD, PMD. Well, I thought it was some sort of a lunch thing, but we'll see. There, oh, fish on. Oh, oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? That was a giant brown. I suck. <laughs> I'm a PMD guy now. Well, they haven't been up. We're gonna have to probably wait for this thing to stop. They can't see the flies. What I love about uh, 
my waders is I can actually get inside them when it rains. Fish on, baby, and he's big, he's big. Big fish. Get into the rear. Get into the Other left. Nice. Dude, I love the I love the bamboo rod. Look at that. Big big fish. Every time he goes, the bamboo rod absorbs all the energy. I love it. Small, small hooks. This is what you love about a bamboo rod. Jason makes a killer rod. Look at him, he's just gonna try to hog that current. Ooh, it's a big fish. Yeah. Good strong fish. I feel like I don't quite have enough time to go get that in. I don't think you do either, but but we'll get him in. Fish on, baby. Take a look at that. Hey, we'll just uh, put him right into your hand. That is an awesome brown. Take a look at that. Look at those colors. That's a fatty. Look at those. I mean, that is. That's so awesome. Yeah. You know, when you get a you get a brown like that on a beautiful bamboo rod, that's awesome. That's number two right now. Two big old fish on a bamboo rod. Up here with the boys from Four Seasons and Jason. Take a look at that big fish. I mean, that is a beautiful fish. And that's the first fish I've ever caught on a bamboo rod. And I'll tell you what, fishing them for the last little while, I'm sold. I'm gonna take this rod apart and put it in my truck. Beautiful. We'll give this guy a little drink and we'll let him be on the way. <laughs> there he is, fish on, fish on. Uh oh. I'm Karen Coleman, Doug Miller's daughter. Catching crawdads may be fun, but cleaning them can be a little tricky. Tonight, my dad shows us how it's done. Here's the way to do it. You got plenty of ice in the old bucket over here. Take the tail of the crawdad right there. Take that center fin, there's five fins on the tail. The center fin, step to one side. You devein the dad in one move, remove the tail, put the tail on ice and the crawdad in the dumpster right there. In all, in just a matter of a few hours, we would catch and clean and cook over 20 gallons of crawdads. This is the labor-intensive part of the operation. Each crawdad has to be handled, cleaned, and placed on ice. Hey, if anybody finds a dead one when we're going through the bucket, don't clean that one, just discard it, because you want to make sure they're uh, alive and fresh. And make sure you have plenty of ice to thoroughly chill the clean crayfish. With many hands helping, the work goes quickly, but if you don't get the dads on ice immediately after cleaning, they'll spoil quickly in the summer. You know, I get asked all the time, what's one of my favorite outdoor products? And I'm gonna tell you, it's the Goal Zero Nomad 7. What I love about this product, it's simple, light, and keeps me powered up when I'm in the outdoors. Flip it open, plug in your favorite device, it's charging, you're ready to go. GPS's, cell phones, cameras, you never run out of power in the backcountry. In the morning time here, we need to fish a sow bug. Um, we're not getting any hatch movement, any bugs moving in the river, so we'll get something that's always in the river and always floating down and then we went with a, our second fly is a PMD since we're not getting any movement from bugs we just put a standard PMD that's just a little nymph no emerger style um, not looking like it's ready to hatch got him fish on big fish nice fish Gary Nice, awesome fish. Bamboo rods are so effortless to cast. It does make, it makes this nymph fishing so easy. This is a big fish. This is a big, beautiful fish. You get in a hurry to, oh. you get in a hurry to land a big fish with these small, small hooks and you're, uh, 
You're gonna lose it. I have a tendency to do that being a bass guy, man. I wanna, I wanna rip them right into the boat. You gotta enjoy, this is the fun part. Yeah, this is the fun part. Gosh, you just gotta love the brown trout. Look at that, boom. That's awesome. That. Dude, he barely fits in the net. <laughs> Get him out of the sun. Look at that. That's a gorgeous fish. That's a big old brown. Look at that. Big fatty. That's it. Bamboo fly rods, four seasons, big brown trout. That's awesome. What a way to start the morning. That's the start of a great morning right there. Boom. Tim getting us on him. I love it. Is that sweet or what? Check it out. Look at that beautiful wild brown trout on a Jason Zika bamboo handmade rod. Does it get any better than that? That's good stuff right there, folks. If you haven't tried bamboo, you gotta try it. Come by and test drive one. I gotta warn you though, once you do, it's all over. Beautiful. Walk us through the proper technique. Uh, all right, so we start, we've got to load the rod, which with the normal dry fly cast, you would back cast and get, get the weight of the line out there, and then when you pull it forward, it will load the rod. But since we don't have that luxury, being able to do that, we just have to pick up, you can see the rod bending. So when the line's here, it's very tough to get out there to go around this corner with the cast. So generally what I'll do is I'll flop it upstream, and then I'll just roll it to where? I, I want it further over there, I just roll it over there further. That's sick, isn't it? I would have flopped it and I'd have had both hooks in the back of the head. That's a great technique, folks. So, tension, load the rod, roll it up. Then, the part that I think a lot of people are probably curious about, again, it's just bring a little tension back and then roll again, correct? Yeah, the thing with the roll cast, it's all about forming this loop. It's the letter D, the capital letter D with the line. And then it'll roll over. And you just keep getting it farther and farther and to where you want it. Yeah, and you can really pinpoint exactly where you want to put it. So I'm probably, on these drifts through this run right here, I'm probably getting close to 100 feet or better. But in order to do that without a roll cast, of course, I'm at the end of my drift I'm holding the rod behind me, letting the current bring it back so I've got more of a straight line shot. We got a fish on, baby? Nah, oh, big fish! I love it! No! <laughs> nice! Nice, fish on! The Labor Day sales event is on now at your local Ford stores. There's no better time to save big on a Ford. Now, get up to 8250 total savings or zero for 60 plus up to 1000 trade-in cash on built Ford tough trucks. Hurry, it all ends September 3rd. Big old tires everywhere I go. They've got the best tires and the prices are unbeatable. For a limited time, buy four Big O' Brand tires and get two Lagoon all-day passports. One more reason to buy those Big o tires. Get the dream car and the dream rate. Right now at Mountain America, auto loan rates are as low as 2.74 APR for both new and used vehicles. Apply for your auto loan today at the nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. Utah Sportsman Properties offers premier adventure estates with exclusive fishing and hunting access in the most scenic locations here in Utah and beyond. Utah Sportsman Properties has the ultimate destination for your next family business venture. Most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X-Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature total accuracy. 
the Browning X-Bolt, an all-new rifle system designed for total accuracy. The Labor Day sales event is on now at your local Ford stores. There's no better time to save big on a Ford. Now, get up to 8250 total savings or zero for 60 plus up to 1000 trade-in cash on built Ford Tough Trucks. Hurry, it all ends September 3rd. You know, when I'm in the backcountry, I'm always looking for a treat that's filling, gives me good energy, and it's healthy for me. Athletes around the world have been using the eSport waffles, and you know what? You can get yours at Sportsman's Warehouse. Give them a try, you'll love them. They'll give you a lot of energy. They're lightweight, easy to pack, and they are delicious. There you go, fish on, fish on, baby. Oh, he's off. Oh, I love it. to throw this very lightweight nymphrig in there. Oh! Ooh, oh fish on! Yeah. Fish on, baby! Yes! Oh, he's a big one. You better move, Gare. Dude, that's awesome. You better move. He's going to be all the way down here. Okay, I'm underneath the line. That's a big toad, dude. How does it make you feel, Jason, when you see people hook big fish on these bamboo rods? It's absolutely awesome, and it was a picture-perfect take on that one. Oh, yeah, he's passed it. <laughs> I love it. Check it out, folks. This is what you get when you have a big fish on. This is a bruiser. Tim's having to go out and work him away from the cover so he can get him in. Oh! A lot of times you don't land a giant like that. That was a fantastic fight, though. That's fishing, man, and that's a big fish on a, on a bamboo rod on little teeny, teeny nymphs. And uh, what are we using? Six, 5X. Five X. So, I mean, we're talking light line. We got a fish on, baby? Nah, no. oh, big fish! I love it! No! <laughs> nice! Nice, fish on, fish on! Very sweet. Nice fish. Good fish, doing some aerobatics for you. Jumping right at me. Good, strong fish. Really silvery. Yeah, very silvery. Sorry, buddy, I was just going to scoop. I was trying to do the. There you go, the Zen Master. The Zen Master scoop. I'll bring him upside down so he's just a little bit. Calm down and disoriented. And look at that, right in the corner of the mouth, like you knew what you were doing. That's a beautiful fish. Take a look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Beautiful colors. Take a look at that. That's probably the smallest fish we've caught. It is. I mean, absolutely. that definitely, and still, that is, I mean, that's a trophy fish in any river. That's a trophy fish in any, that's a trophy fish in any river right there. Beautiful. With the classic? Yeah, on the bamboo classic, baby. Very nice. I gotta see if I can pull off the Zen here. Nope. <laughs> I cannot pull off the Zen. <laughs> Tim's got the Zen move. He puts the fish on the bottom and they just sit there for the camera. I, as soon as I start taking them to the bottom, going. that's awesome, dude, right there. Another beautiful fish on the river. I hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. I know I have. I don't think I've caught that many consecutive big fish in a long time. I mean, today was awesome. Yeah, it was. You guys, get a hold of Four Seasons if you want to book a trip. Come out with these guys and have a great time. And you know what? Get a hold of Jason and put one of these bamboo fly rods in your hands. I promise you, you're gonna be as astounded as I was 
The feel, the craftsmanship, the castability, unbelievable. Very, very cool stuff. Hey, remember, same time, same channel, whole new adventure next week. On behalf of these uh, four amigos I've been fishing with today, I gotta tell you, this is one great bunch of guys and uh, we had a great time out here and uh, Gary, thank you so much for inviting us out. You're the best. No, it was awesome. Thank Hooked you on guys. Utah. Booyah!